salute you, our heroes, with sore feet for sacrificing your time and energy as you fight for all of us. But friends, it is part of a much bigger army than that. It's an army that goes back decades, generations, centuries. An army that goes back to the hundreds of thousands who marched for the toll buddle martyrs, those early trade unionists persecuted for standing up for the rights of working people. Like the Chartists who fought for the rights of working people. Like the suffragettes demonised and attacked and imprisoned as they fought for the rights of women. Like those who fought for LGBT people and against racism. Those who built our welfare state, who won workers' rights and who built our national health service. And indeed, like those who resisted the poll tax and booted Margaret Thatcher out of number 10. This, this is our people's army. A people's army that has marched throughout history. It's rank and file soldiers from all nations of this island, from all backgrounds and from all creeds. An army united throughout the centuries by a common courage, a common sense of solidarity and a common determination to confront those with power and to stand up for ordinary people. And as our ancestors marched, we march. As our ancestors spoke out, we speak out. And as our ancestors won, we too will win as well. Our NHS, our NHS, one of the greatest achievements in the history of this island. The creation of a national health service for all, not run in the interests of profiteers. We were born into it. It is there for us when we fall ill and when we're injured and it looks after us to the very day we die. No wonder then, no wonder the Tories hate it. It stands as a stubborn rejection of everything that they stand for. It is a rejection, it is a rejection of an ideology that puts profit before people. It says that you can run society in the interests of people's needs and aspirations rather than the needs of a profiteers at the top. So no wonder, no wonder they didn't have the guts to put it to the British people. No wonder, because as Nigel Lawson, the Tory Chancellor of the Exchequer said in the 1980s, our NHS is the closest we have to a national religion. No wonder they didn't have the guts. And no wonder Andrew Lansley, the former privatiser in chief, received not booing loud enough. Much better, it's like Panto. Andrew Lansley, a man who was given £21,000 from the CEO of Care UK, one of the vultures circling. What a wise investment. What a wise investment by Care UK and other private health companies funding a Conservative Party that exists to represent them. And it's not just that they're chopping it up bit by bit. The longest real term squeeze in NHS funding since its foundation. But friends, as we stand up in defiance to the Tories. We have a message, of course, to Labour as well. Yes. Let's all, all of us turn our backs on all policies of privatisation yes. and marketisation. Yes. Instead, instead, let's build an NHS fit for the 21st century. Let reform mean improvement and putting patients at the centre of care, not as a euphemism for privatisation and cut whoever is in power. And we just heard that commitment to repeal that bill, that 
privatisation bill. But our message is clear. We must hold them to that. Every single one of us. Now, friends, just to wrap up, those with power, they want us to be angry, not with them. They want us to turn on each other. They want us to turn on unemployed people. They want us to turn on immigrants, the very same immigrants who keep our National Health Service alive. They want us to turn our anger on public sector workers like the nurses and doctors who look after us from cradle to grave. So if we have one message, one clear defiant message to the Conservative Party, it is this. You will never, ever, ever divide us. Never, never, never. We stand as one against you. Because it wasn't... Because it wasn't immigrants or public sector workers or unemployed people who plunged this country into its mess. It was a financial elite which is booming whilst everybody else struggles. Those are the people we should be angry with. And finally, finally, I'm very proud to be part of the People's Assembly, a coalition of people in the Labour Party, the Green Party, and no party at all, trade unionists, campaigners for the disabled. And the reason it's important is this, we need that solidarity. It's not just the privatisation of the NHS, it's cuts to all services, it's attacks on disabled people and unemployed people, it's every policy that attacks us. So we must stand together, we must not let them pick us off one by one. But to wrap up, we owe it to our ancestors who fought for the NHS. We stand on the shoulders of giants and it is not for them to, not for all of us here gathered today to let everything they fought for be stripped away by a government which didn't even win the general election. Fight on friends, fight on for our NHS and if we stand together, we fight together, we will win this battle together. Solidarity.